Hello Virgo, how are you? This is a general reading for your Virgo placements from the week of June 7th through the 13th. We're going to take a moment to breathe. If you'd like to skip past this part, it's going to be about one minute. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Hey, Virgo. Ooh, honey, you need to get grounded, okay? For the Virgo energy that I am tapping into, you are tired, frustrated, um, feeling down, maybe. Something, okay? Your energy is not conducive to... The energy's not steady, okay? So let's get your, um, but this may be from, well, I'm, I'm recording this on the 2nd. I'm putting it out on the 3rd. So it may be from this week going into next week, the week of the 7th, because I know that this is a rough week for you, all right? You've got a lot, a lot, a lot of hate flying at you for no apparent reason. Um... There it is. <laughs> this keeps coming out for everybody. I want you to remember that if you are catching hate this week, okay, or even last week, whatever has been going down where you are coming up on the short end, it's not about you, okay? For whatever weird reason, um... Just re this is this is happening. It's happening like massively with Virgo. I don't know why. Deception, lie, slander, hate, anything like that. Okay, it's not about you, honey. It's not about you. It's about them. All right. So try and get grounded. Now this week's overall energy, the week of the seventh, is dormant aspects. Beautiful with independence yes yes loving this energy for you this is gorgeous let me see if i got a yes um your channel message that i got earlier was oh you are leveling up which completely goes along with this now many of you are moving switching jobs leaving a relationship there are huge shifts for Virgo right now. Like, huge. Virgo's got so much energy going on around them. So, dormant aspects. Something within you, a talent, a, a gift, some kind of an ability that has been sleeping inside of you is coming forth. Or something that you already have that you've been working on is coming forward even stronger. So, like a psychic ability or anything like that. It's coming in even stronger, okay? And it's it's pushing you towards independence. I know many of you are starting your own businesses. Um, that could be what it is. You are starting a new job. This new, whatever this is, is leveling you up. Seven of spring, yeah, no doubt, unity. The star. Oh, yes. Love this. 
Queen of Summer. Yes, Virgo. Oh my gosh, I love it. Eight of Winter is on the bottom. You have what it takes if you only believe in yourself. Virgo, we've been talking about you not giving up on things, okay? Look at this. Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Earth with the Dreamer, the Fool card, taking a leap of faith to be independent. Nine of Pentacles is the Fool is uh, a Virgo card. Okay. What else do we have for Virgo? If I can get these cards to sit. Let's see if I knock them down again. That'd be cool. It has been a very stressful week for many of you. Eight of Fire, events moving quickly. Four of Earth, good business decisions, but let go of the energy that is not beneficial to you, okay? Don't hold on to things too tightly, and don't take things personally. The Star card, again, healing, recuperating, looking to the future with hope and optimism. Unity, we have the moon, so we're going to get one for that. Okay. Ah, seven of spring, you've got to be determined. Three of earth. Being a team player and the power of creativity, you are creating within a team because you know you can. Unity, moon, five of air. You're coming up against opposition. Star, night of fire. What it is that you hope to create will manifest quickly. <sighs> See, I kind of have an issue with that. Things are going quickly. Things in your life are moving quickly. You are moving quickly, all right? You need to make sure that you are getting your um, rest. You're going to, if, if, if you feel like you have a lack of energy, Make sure that you're getting your proper sleep, okay? Working into all hours of the night and then getting up and doing it again the next day is going to burn you out. So try and get, and, and, and I'm totally getting this energy drink, lots of caffeine, um, grabbing something to eat on the run. Mmm, Virgo, you know better. You know how your body is going to react if you overdo with these things, all right? So try and up your energy with exercise and nutrition, okay? That actually should help. You have the queen of summer and the queen of water on top of it. I love this. Listen to your heart Care and care for yourself. Okay. Yes, you care for others around you, but care for yourself. Listen to your heart, intuitive insights that you can, and that you can trust. Taking care of others, perhaps too much. Mm, queen of water relationship develops on a new level. Trust your intuition. Two cards that both say trust your intuition. And I just saw the two of cups. Okay. That's you with your higher self. Oh, you might have love coming in, but lead with your heart. Anything you take action on, let your heart lead you, okay? All right, let's see what we got here. Woo! Well, we don't see that one coming. Strength. You have the ability to do this. Mmm, this conflict is going to leave you feeling like you're out in the cold, like you're alone. Ace of Wands is hiding a card, too. Let's see what this is. What you don't see coming is a page of wands. You've got news coming in. <sighs> you might have, for some someone, I'm getting you're having a major appliance or an electronic or a car or something like that breaking down. You're just going to get hit from all sides, possibly, if you have been. It, may, it looks like it's going to continue, okay? Whatever this is. Do not give up faith. Do not give up hope, okay? Release anything that is no longer on your path to your highest good. What is the Ace of Wands hiding? 
the world taking action on on stepping this is successfully completing a cycle so that you can step into a new cycle taking action yes virgo i love this i love this and we are heading towards your independence also have some fun would you please all right strength card you have the ability to to move forward <sighs> You're not wearing your heart on your sleeve. You're, you might be dealing with someone that is closed off emotionally, but you're being asked to not close off emotionally, all right? Yes, you're getting pelted, all right? You're, you're getting, let's just call it what it is at the moment. You're, you're getting shit on from every angle that we can see right now. But, but, it's a test, all right? If you are able to stand up and say, I know I am on my right path. I know I can do this. No matter what gets thrown at me, you will be rewarded. All right? Told you. You will be rewarded. You have the strength to go through this. You are in control of your emotions and you want this new start. Oh my God, five of cups on the five of pentacles. Ah, what's the choice? I am not looking forward to seeing what this is. Most of you know I, I am a Virgo son and I have a stellium of Virgo. So <laughs> I'm right there with you, babe. I'm right there with you. <laughs> oh, yes. What's the choice? Oh, you are deciding that you are the magician. This is one of your cards for me as a reader. The magician, you want the hap. You know what it is that you want and you're going to go for it. Yes, yes, yes. Love it. Okay. First, get out of your head. You've got news coming in. I want to see what this news is. A lot of times I don't see this as news. That's news. What is this news about, please? Oh, I've got reversals in this deck. All right. So we will go with that. We'll work with that. Mm, three of swords. What is that three of swords about, please? Yeah, can you tell my excitement? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, page of Swords, Seven of Cups, Knight of Cups. If you, there is, you're being disheartened. So there's a situation that is going on that uh, it, you're getting information. Page of Wands with the Page of Swords. Okay, confusion. And he does not look happy looking into that cup. Five of swords again. Five of air, five of swords. Same card. There is a conflict. There's. It's just conflict. It's just general conflict around you. Confusion and conflict. Okay. All right. So that's what that is about. That's good. I, I was thinking that it was something else. So I'm very happy with this answer. All right. So you're not going to be able to manifest what you want to manifest as quickly as you want to manifest it. But that's okay. Let me tell you why. We're going into Mercury retrograde, right? All right. So what happens during Mercury retrograde? We have to take things slowly, one step at a time. And we have the opportunity. See, I do not agree when people say don't start something new during retrograde. I do not agree with that in the least. Why? Because you're going to make mistakes anyway. Make them during the retrograde when you have the opportunity to go back and fix it and fix it and fix it. You're working out all the bugs this way. Okay? You see what I'm saying? Yes. So, in my personal opinion... Retrograde is the perfect time to start something because you're going to find 
all of the pieces that were going to break at some point later. You're able to strengthen your base of the tower before you build because it's in in retrograde. Just remember, once I've been preaching this all year. It's not going to stop this year. One step at a time. All right? And get your sleep. Oh, I didn't read this. Okay. All right. Judgment. Free will. You are deciding. You are absolutely going to go forward with this. You're getting the information. You're getting excited about it. You see how to balance things out. And you see what lies ahead. And you are going to defend yourself. You are not in a negative way. All right? Th these conflicts here along with all of this here these conflicts are not worth your time or attention virgo all right this is all petty it looks petty this looks like it's petty stuff if it's petty stuff don't even acknowledge it just keep going be you be happy don't let anyone discourage you you are the freaking empress you are creating yeah you're gonna get battered battered but you know what it's going to be worth it i'm telling you all the work that you do during this retrograde all of the naysayers that are coming up against you it's gonna be worth it it's gonna be worth it okay all right oh um if you did not see my announcement i'm going to link it at the end of this video it's a minute and a half long if you are an entrepreneur or a musician, make sure you watch it, all right? If you have a small business, if you are wanting to get started on a small business, make sure you watch that. Also, I go live on Sundays for um, all 12 signs. Those are lit. Those readings are lit, okay? Make sure you, you watch that. It is time stamped, and I also do free readings. Let's get your um, advice card, Spirit, please, for Virgo for June 7th through the 13th. Virgo, you can overcome any obstacle that is coming at you. You're being tested. Your resolve is being tested, but look to the future. I'm going to show you this again. Look to the future with hope and optimism. I'm going to, from one Virgo to the next, I'm going to tell you, suck it up, buttercup. Okay? It's going to be worth it in the end. It will. It will be worth it in the end. Because you know what you're fighting for now. And if you don't, you soon will. Three and eight. Ooh, interesting. I like that. Of air. Three of air, education, talent, study, willingness, guides and teachers, comprehension, communication, perception. Expand your mind. Every experience offers a lesson. Education is a lifelong process. Learning aids comprehension. Lessons repeat until we understand. Learning transforms talent into skill. You're being pressurized like a, a lump of coal in the earth is what's going on right now, Virgo. Okay? Uh, yes, you, you are... All of this conflict, this is to teach you quickly so that you can level up. And I'm telling you right now, don't expect the huge leveling up or to achieve those goals quickly. I don't think it's going to happen for most of you, okay? But it is going to happen. Sorry. Where was I? Learning aids comprehension. Lessons repeat until we understand. Learning transforms talent into skill. Don't kill the messenger. Ignorance is nothing to be proud of. And then we have the eight. Six, seven, eight. Eight of air. The ego, truth, power, responsibility, consequences, cause and effect, lessons learned, 
memory. Ego does not always tell the truth. Ooh, all these conflicts that are going on around you, don't take it personal, okay? Effect will always follow cause. Time to change your ways. Admit that you made a mistake. Memory is imperfect. Self-justification does not mitigate harm. Consequences are inescapable. We all make mistakes. Okay. All right, Virgo, that's all I have for you for now. I hope to see you soon. You know I love you. Peace to you. Ciao.